Welcome, I am Ernie Goss, research economist with AIM, that's Applied Information Management of Denver. Here I am on the second Tuesday of the month, second Tuesday of February, reporting on our quarter four results. That's the AIM Workforce Index. Now what the heck is, the work, is, there, is our Workforce Index? It's the ratio of online job openings to unemployment. So obviously that ratio, when it goes up, it's good news, and the number ranges between zero and a hundred, zero being very, very poor, no job, no online job openings, and uh, of course moving up to a hundred where we've got a lot of job op openings relative to the unemployment rate. Now, what, what did we get for quarter four? Well, for Colorado, the number went from 70.6, which is of course very strong, to 81.6, which is even stronger. Colorado's ranking now again, this is for quarter four of 2014. Colorado's ranking moving from third to fourth quarter went from 14th best in the country to sixth best in the country. Obviously, very good. And at Colorado, I expect that trend to continue. I expect more and more uh, work, uh, more and more job openings and the unemployment rates likely, the number of unemployed is likely to come down. Now, Colorado, of course, has a big energy sector and that's where you're gonna see some weakness. You're gonna see some weakness in the farm sector and businesses tied to farm. That would, of course, be uh, agricultural implement manufacturers and, of course, uh, drilling, drilling companies. Where were the jobs uh, most plentiful? In sales, not surprising. Number two was management. Number three, customer services. Now, in terms of relative to the number of jobs out there now, where, we, where did we have the highest number uh, of, of online job openings? Number one, finance. Finance is growing, looking good there. Engineering, which of course for me as an economist is even better because that means for the manufacturing sector is doing well, automobile manufacturing, engineering and professional services, very important to Colorado, that's growing. And finally, number three, auto services. Uh, that's a lot to do with recalls. Of course, that generates jobs, but it's not the jobs we'd like to see. And that's, a, that's the third best sector for, the month, for uh, Colorado for the fourth quarter. Now here I, you see the chart where we, I'm comparing, uh, we're comparing, that's Ames comparison of quarter three to quarter four numbers. The overall index, as you see in the chart, went up and the rankings went down, meaning a better ranking. Number one is the best ranking. Now, the top states. This is, uh, North Dakota's number one, but that's not gonna hang on. We're seeing uh, unemployment uh, numbers going up for North Dakota. We're gonna continue to see that, that North Dakota's gonna move out of number one. Number two is Minnesota, number three, Nebraska, not surprising there, Kansas, and Delaware. Now those, those rankings are going to change as the energy sector weakens and the farm sector weakens and that spills over into businesses that are hiring and the workforce index, the number of online job openings. Bottom states still much the same as in the past. Maine is 50th, 49th is California, 48th is Alaska, 47th is New York, and Mississippi is the final bottom five uh, state. What to watch for? Okay, our index has been doing well. That's the Ames Workforce Index. So what should you, as an investor, what should you, as a business person, or as a citizen, what you watch out for? What should you watch out for? Case-Shiller Home Price Index. That number has been coming down, meaning the growth. And I'm not that concerned about it, but Congress is, and the President is, and that gets, that's problems. When they get involved, I get concerned, and they need to leave it alone. The president, the, uh, the Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae have already reduced their down payments for uh, first time home buyers. We don't need to see a repeat of the 2006 and seven and eight, what went on here. I don't know where these guys were, guys and gals. These are our legislators, our representatives, must have been asleep. Um, look, keep an eye on jobs added for, for uh, the next December and January, and those come out uh, February the 6th, and they came out February the 6th, and March the 6th. Keep an eye on wage growth, very, very important. Year over year wage growth has just not been doing well, less than 2%. Now if it trims up, goes up to 3%, watch out. The Fed is gonna be con get concerned, they're gonna begin raising rates. Now I don't expect it to move to 3% anytime soon, but as that number moves up and ratchets, ratchets up, 
That's the issue. And keep it, so dig in that employment report and see what it says. Don't get uh, wooed, so much wooed by the employment numbers, which have been good, but a lot of those jobs are part-time. As you know, a lot of them are low-wage jobs. Keep an eye on the 10-year Treasury, and you know why there. I've talked a lot about it. Just a measure of risk. As risks go up, and they have been with the Greek elections, the Russian, what's going on uh, Russia, with Russian troops. They're, they say they're not their troops, but in the, in the Ukraine. Uh, now, uh, of course, keep an eye on that. Uh, again, the Greek situation. Um, insolvency. That's the risk factors. Greeks, the Greek government allowing their bonds to default. As a result of the Greek elections uh, on the 25th of January, the yields went up by 2%. 2% within short order. That's, that's a big move and that's not good. And what it does, it hurts the U.S. markets by uh, our having, they don't, when they're not growing, they're not buying from us. Secondly, it raises the value of the dollar. Everybody flees these currencies, that would be the euro, and they go to the dollar, raises the value of the dollar, and that means that we have a harder time selling abroad. And that would be principally uh, agricultural products, also energy products in some cases. Um, so that's a real issue. Uh, another issue, as I said, the Greek situation in Ukraine and even in other countries where the Russians are saber rattling again, that has an impact on trade, has an impact on how we see the global economy. A much, and now all this ties into the U.S. dollar, which has been growing at much too fast a pace for my taste. We need to see it growing by significantly less. Uh, I don't mind a strong dollar, but this is getting a little out of hand. It's hurting, hurting energy. It's hurting uh, farm economy very, big time, big time hurting. So that's, that's keep an eye on what, what you're seeing in the energy sector, what you're seeing in agriculture. For example, John Deere announced significant layoffs just last week. That's what we're seeing. We're going to see that in Colorado. We're going to see it in other states. So that's a real key. So anyway, that's a, our report was very strong for Colorado. This is a quarter four, even better than quarter three, which is outstanding for the state of Colorado. So that's good. And, and uh, I'm Ernie Goss here reporting on those uh, quarter four results. Until we meet again, for, uh, again, Ernie Goss with a research uh, economist with AIM, that's Applied Information Management here in Denver, beautiful Denver, beautiful Colorado, reporting for you quarter four results. They were good. And between now and our next report, keep, may your economic cup runneth over. Music